everybody, welcome back to my channel, I hope you're doing well. Um, I am the same person, but I've just not got black on. I feel very out of my depth. So I thought for today's video, I am going to do like a monthly favourites, because I don't think many people do them anymore, I think it's such like an old YouTube thing, like when I used to watch YouTube when I was younger, they were my favourite thing to watch. Absolutely obsessed with Sammy Maria, who when she was Beauty Crush, those were like my days. Me and my sister used to sit there and we would always watch her monthly favourite videos. And I just think, like, they're probably still my favourite thing to watch now. I just think it's quite nice to actually just watch someone just sit down and talk about things that they like or that they've enjoyed through the month. I'm going to do it quite just generally, like, things I've done this month that I like new products that I like, clothes, whatever. If you like these kind of videos then please let me know because obviously I'm not going to like strain myself to do them every month because some months they just obviously aren't things that you love that much but if I feel like I've got a good amount of things that I've liked in the month then I actually enjoy kind of sitting down and chatting shit so so if you would like to see me go through all my favourite things from the month of March then please keep watching. Um, so I've got a few things here, they're all quite random, actually no they're not, Most majority of it is like beauty related because it's been quite a good month for finding new things. This is something I get asked about all the time, people are constantly asking me what fake tan I use. Um, I either use Loving Tan or Bondi Sands always, they're the, just the two that I just think work the best on my skin tone, they give me the best colour and they seem to last the longest. I also think they're quite easy to get off, some that I've tried to scrub off. They're not going anywhere. And this month, Loving Tan launched their new gradual tan. So this is the deluxe gradual tan. I've got the colour dark. Um, they do an extra light, light and dark, I think. Um, I've given the light one away because it, it just won't do anything on me. Um, so the dark one, it is nice. I kind of do wish that they did an ultra dark one because... I use Ultra Dark in their normal mousse tan um, and it's such a nice colour because it's so deep. Dark is fine, like it kind of takes me to like the tan that I get when I've kind of been in the sun for a bit. Like I do go quite dark in the sun, um, so I like Ultra Dark because it's kind of the same colour as that. But I really like this. Um, obviously it's a gradual tan which I'm not used to using since like year 9, the Garnier days. I used to go to school smelling like a hot, hot biscuit. Kept me like at a really nice, I don't know if I've actually still got it on. That's the thing, like it kind of fades away rather than with fake tan where you get that real big like patchy thing. Um, so my arms, I think there's still like a bit on it around here. Um, it's mainly worn off like my hands and here because obviously I've been dyeing my hair quite a lot recently. So I've been like washing my hands constantly. I smell horrible either, like usually... Luca or my mum will always be like, oh, have you faked hand so I can just smell it? But I haven't had any negative comments, so that makes a fucking change, doesn't it? Next thing that I want to talk about, obviously, don't think anyone's going to be surprised by this because I've used it quite a bit, but the Kaylee MUA Sosu Urban Bible Palette, seriously, so in love with this. It's quite well loved, to be honest. Yeah, I use this pretty much every day. I've been using these two colours for my eyebrows lately, now that my hair's a little bit warmer. I'm going to say it, I think this is my favourite palette ever. I think it might have even replaced my Violet Voss Nicole one, which is honestly worn to shit. I think this actually might have replaced it. I just love it. It's got everything that you would ever need. In love. If you can get your hands on this, do. Pigment, unreal. Everything's unreal. Kaylee is... a absolute fucking angel as well so Mwah. next product I've kind of been using this for a couple of months now um on and off but I've got really into using it again recently so it's by the ordinary and it is the rose hip oil this is my second bottle of it now um I've been putting it on every night and like this is one of those things I kind of like I don't really know what it does or is doing but it's definitely doing something. I know that rose hip oil obviously protects your skin's surface, so I think my skin just looks a little bit brighter since I've used it. Um, I've, I've had problems with my skin for probably about a month now, but I think it mainly is 
stress and I've been in quite a lot of pain with my wisdom tooth as well and I think I've just been feeling quite run down and as soon as I feel a little bit down or tired my skin is just like one of the first things to go so I think that is just because of that but yeah I've been using this um it is quite an oily feeling so if you don't really like your skin feeling quite oily mm, you might not love it but um I love the ordinary it's such a good brand I've never tried anything from there that I don't like See, I love their foundation, um, so affordable as well, and it's just one of those brands, I just trust them. You know, you just know what they're doing, they, they've got such a good grasp of, like, ingredients, everything's so natural, and it just works, and that's all anyone can really ask for, isn't it? So, I absolutely love The Ordinary, they're, like, one of my new favourite brands ever. Next up, oh, you wait, you wait for this. I've literally wanted these shoes for about four or five months and every time I've been on there they haven't had my size and I've had the thing, the email thing on for when they come back in and I got that email the other day and I was like, it's a sign, it is a sign. So, these are new bad boys. So these are from Unif, um, it's an American brand I believe because they're obviously American sizing. Um, so these are a six which is a UK four. I love them so much. Love them. They're so comfortable. They make me so tall. They're just beautiful. They are expensive, like. But then I, mm, I can justify price on things if I know I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of them. Like my Gucci boots. Didn't mind paying that because I literally have worn them so much. Price per wear, they've probably worked out. As it costs me like four pound every time I wear them because I've worn them so much. Maybe not four pound. Maybe more than that. Don't know, don't do maths. So yeah, oh my god, and all the boots on Unif, if you like like chunky, kind of bit goffy sort of shoes, you will oh you will literally die. I want all of them. Seriously, this is definitely not gonna be my last pair from there. They are beautiful. So I feel like these two kind of have to be included in this because I've actually used them like to death this month. It's the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Foundation and the concealer as well. They work so well together, obviously, they should do, but on their own as well, they are unreal. Um, like, the feeling of them is just, I haven't really felt a foundation and concealer that are like it. Only thing I don't like is the colour range isn't that great. The stock in the UK, which I can't really understand because they made such a big thing about them launching in the UK and then kind of haven't really restocked but I don't think I could even rebuy it because I've gone into the shops a few times and they just don't have anything. Um, which I understand, obviously, I work in a makeup shop, I know as much as anyone that sometimes your stock is a bit dodge and it's not your fault, but from their point of view, I don't understand why they don't want it everywhere. It seems bizarre, but yeah, anyway, they are really beautiful, so I'm hoping they up their game a little bit with the stock and also the colour range because there's pretty much five beige colours. Concealer is actually a really, really good colour. I've been wearing this quite a bit on its own. If I don't have any foundation on, I just want like a really, really casual uh, makeup look I've been wearing on its own. They literally feel like velvet, like, and I haven't set this. This is probably the only concealer I've ever used that I haven't had to set. Um, I've been trying to avoid using powder on my skin too much lately, just because I don't think it's helping where it looks a little bit textured. And my skin's quite dry at the moment, so I've been avoiding powder where I can. Um, and this is literally amazing. I haven't even set it. Unreal. And my eyes crease so much. The next thing is from this brand called Red Temple Prayer. Um, I'm not entirely sure, but I know that it is either owned by or has something to do with Simon Earle, who is an amazing tattoo artist. Um, so it's pretty much like they do homeware, clothes, accessories, that sort of thing. Um, but it's all quite like... A lot of it is quite like tattoo, it's kind of like old school flash designs on homeware. So right on my street, I love it so much. Um, I bought my mum a couple of things for Mother's Day on there. So I'm hoping this video won't go up before then because she is fucking nosy. Um, so if I'm buying something for someone else, I always have to buy something for myself. Just softens the blow a little bit when the package comes and there's nothing for you. So obviously I drink a lot of like tea and coffee and... I've got a keep cup because I'm so eco. Um, and I found this one on there and it's literally everything. 
Dolly, my darling. Um, I'm absolutely obsessed with Dolly Parton. I genuinely, I think if I could be one person in the world, it would probably be Dolly Parton. She's just so cool. So cool. And they're like, um, like hard plastic. They're not like ceramic, um, which I like because I drop heavy things. I can't actually get the lid off, but I don't need to anyway because there's nothing in it. Shall I? Yeah, I'm going to show what I got my mum as well because... You know, she, it, this probably won't go up till then anyway. And she's a grown woman. She can deal with disappointment. She's got me as a daughter after all. The thing that I got her was this key ring. It says mother on it. But it's really like traditional tattoo kind of style. I like really not one of those families. Like, I can't deal with like anything cringy. Like you're my, my mum in a million sort of shit. Like my mum would actually be sick if I tried to do that. So I thought get her some like cool kind of tattoo style stuff. Just to remind her of her disappointing daughters that she's raised. Uh, the matching mug. Which I will probably steal actually quite a lot. But I think it's really cool. I haven't got any kids. But I've got Luca, that's enough. So pretty. I love their stuff. Really good quality as well. And not overly expensive. Um, really cool brand. Obsessed with their stuff at the moment. Then the final thing that I want to talk about is a makeup related product again. Um, it's from Milk Makeup and it's the Hydro Grip Primer. So I've never used anything from Milk before. This is the first product that I've had from there. Um, but as I was saying, my skin's been quite dry at the moment and just seems to be like, I don't know, it just looks weird. Like by the time I've got home, I just look at my face and I'm like, mm. I've run out of my NARS Radiance Primer, which obviously I do love. But I thought I'll just have a little look around, see if there's anything else that I'd be interested in trying rather than just buying that one again because I know I like it, I can always go back to it. Um, but obviously Cult Beauty stock NARS now, which is so helpful. Um, but while I was looking on there, I saw this and it had all five stars, like all the reviews were five stars. I've seen people talking about it quite a bit. Um, and then I went to buy it and it was sold out. And I was on my period and seriously, it actually made me like fairly angry, I saw red a little bit, don't know why. Darling, darling of a manager, Claudia, she was in Canada at the time when I put it on my story saying that it was sold out and I was annoyed and she said, oh there's a massive Sephora, they've got a big like milk area. A milk area, that's nice. So yeah, she managed to get me one in Canada, I'm so happy because it is really good. Um, I used it yesterday and I've used it today to do my makeup literally love it it's it's weird because although it's like a hydro primer i assumed that when i put it on it was going to make my skin look really dewy and like kind of wet but it doesn't it actually when you first put your makeup on it looks really matte but i think it's kind of it clinging like i don't like obviously i put a lot quite a bit of like highlighter on and i use like glowy setting sprays and stuff but it's kind of just like my makeup definitely feels more on like probably doesn't make any sense but I hope you know what I mean my makeup feels on like it feels we've secured the bag and it's good so yeah I love this people were saying oh it smells weird like it doesn't really smell of anything I don't think it doesn't smell bad it doesn't smell good um and also I think this is I think it's 27 pound on cult beauty and bear in mind the NARS one that I use is 29 pound and this is massive so I'm hoping that I really get on with this like long term and I can replace my NARS one with this. I really love that. I think I want to try some other stuff from Milk because I've been really impressed by this so far and obviously people seem to have really good stuff to say about it. So yeah, I really want to try a couple more things from there. Quite interesting. So that is actually everything that I've been loving this month. Um, I actually really enjoy like just sitting down and talking about things that I like. I think a lot of the time now obviously like advertising is so chucked in your face like you have to like this, you have to like this. I think it's just quite nice sometimes to see someone just sit and talk about random shit that they like. So if you enjoy these videos, then please let me know. Um, obviously, I'd be more than happy to do some more um, if I feel like I've got enough stuff to talk about. So thank you so, so much for watching this video. Thank you for being here. I love you all so much. And I'll be back very soon. Love you all. Bye.